Hello, I'm Wendy from 3D Worldwide. In this video we will learn how to create a tail using a spline and the garment maker modifier. Also we will create a simple simulation using the cloth modifier to fold the cloth over another object. Let's start by setting our unit system to centimeters. To do that we'll go to Customize, Unit Setup, here under Display Unit Scale We'll select metric, centimeters, then OK. We will only create a simple scene for this simulation. If you like, you can model the rest of the tail rack later on. We'll start by creating a box as a reference point. So let's go to the Create panel, Geometry, Standard Primitives, and we'll choose a box. Here in the top viewport, we'll drag out our box. Now we'll go over to the Modify panel. The length we're going to set to 4 cm, the width to 11 cm, and the height to 8 cm. The segment we're just going to leave at 1. Now let's press Z on the keyboard to zoom in. Let's turn on edged faces in our perspective viewport. This will enable us to see all the subdivisions in the objects. To do this, we just have to click anywhere in the viewport and then press F4 on the keyboard. Or we can go here, click on Realistic, Edge Faces. We can do the same in the other viewports. If you like, click in the viewport, then F3 first, then F4. If not, just click on Wireframe, Shaded. We'll do the same in, in all the viewports. We'll press Z again to zoom in. There we are. We can change the colours of our objects so we can see them easier. Let's click on the small colour icon. From the object colour panel, we'll choose black. And then turn off assign random colours. Then OK. Now we're just going to apply just the normal standard material. So we'll go to the material editor, standard, and we'll just drag a normal standard colour to our object. There we are. Definitely we can see it a lot better. We can now create a circle for the tail rack. Let's go to the Create panel, Shapes, Circle, and here in the left viewport, let's just drag out a circle. In the Modify panel, we'll enable in Renderer, we'll enable in Viewport, Interpolations, we're going to bring them up to something like, uh, let's see, there we are, 24. And a radius, let's type in something like 17. Okay, maybe we need to change our thickness. So over here in thickness, we'll just bring this dial down. There we are, maybe something like uh, one and a half centimeters, 1.5, that's fine. Let's move the circle down, so it's inside the rectangle. We'll add the, a material to it. There we are. This is going to be our tail rack. Let's go to the Create panel, Shapes, and we're going to choose this time a rectangle. In the top viewport, we're going to drag out a rectangle. We can turn off Enable and Renderer and Enable and Viewport. Let's scroll down to Parameters. Length, we'll type in something like, um, let's say 50. And the width, something like 110. We'll right click on the object. And from the transform menu, convert to an editable spline. Then in the editable spline menu, we're going to choose vertex mode. Let's select all the vertices. 
Then here in Geometry, press Break. Now we can add the Garment Maker modifier. So let's go to the Modifier list, scroll down the Object Space Modifiers, and select Garment Maker. In the main parameters, Density, let's press the small dial button once or twice to bring the density up. Drag the rectangle down to the middle of the circle and apply the standard material. So we'll go back up to the material editor and just drag out the material. In the perspective viewport, let's press Alt W on the keyboard to maximize. There we are. We're going to create a small animation for the cloth modifier simulation. Select the circle, then with the Select and Uniform Scale tool, we're going to scale the circle bigger than the rectangle. Just drag it out. There we are. Something like that. That's fine. Let's go to the timeline at the bottom of the screen and turn on Auto Key. Then move the slider along the timeline to 100. Okay, now let's scale the circle down again till its original size. There we are, something like that. We'll go back and turn off Auto Key and drag the slide back to zero. We've just created a small animation. Now we can add our cloth modifier. First of all, we'll select our uh, rectangle. We'll go over to the Modify list, we'll scroll down and add Cloth. Let's go to Object, Object Properties. We'll select the rectangle, Cloth. Now from Cloth Properties, we can select any of these presets. For this uh, video, we're just going to choose Cotton. We need to add another object, so we'll go here to Add Objects. We're going to choose the circle, then add. Now our circle is going to be our collision object, so we're going to scroll down here to the bottom, check collision object, then OK. Just one more thing to do, we'll just scroll down here to simulation parameters, turn on self collision and we're going to set it to 1 and check intersections. Okay, everything's set up. Let's give it a go. Over here to simulation, we're going to press simulate local. Notice how fast it drops. Just let it drop. There we are. It's going to loosely fall and fold. And there we are. Now we can turn it off. The rectangle is folded nicely over the circle. Now we can use the animation we created before. So to do that, press Simulate. There we are. Notice how the screen has come up. It was telling us the frame, the time. There we are. We can see that our animation has taken place. The circle is scaling down. We'll just wait. The rectangle's folding. The slide will go to 100 frames. And then it'll automatically stop. There we are. Now what we can do, we can put on a simulate local just for a few seconds more. That will loosen loosen these edges up around here a little bit more. We can add a couple of modifiers to finish off the cloth object. First we will add the HSDS modifier. Let's scroll down. 
HSDS. Now in the advanced options, adaptive subdivision, we're going to select high, then press OK. Next we can add a shell modifier, so we'll go back to the modify list, we'll scroll down and we'll select shell modifier. Now in the outer amount, we're going to set it to something like 0, 0 0.3. We can make some final adjustments by applying an FFD 4x4x4 modifier. So we'll go and we'll select it. On the expandable panel, we're going to choose our control points. Just going to move some of these down. If you're not happy with your modeling, Go over to control points, press reset and you can start all over again. Just before we finish, let's add a UVW mapping modifier. In the parameters, we're going to choose planner. Then we're going to drag the modifier in the stack and drag it down so it sits just underneath cloth. Here we are. How's that? Thank you for watching. Enjoy.